Hi and welcome to Neuroscience for Everyone. In the next few videos, I am going to tell you about neuron. In this video, we will see what is in the cell body of a neuron. So as said in the Neuron Doctrine video, neurons are the fundamental unit of the nervous system. Did you know? There are about 86 billion neurons in an average human brain. Neuron has three main parts, the soma, the dendrites and the axon. The soma or the cell body is the central part of the neuron. It is about 20 micrometer in diameter containing the nucleus and the organelles. The major organelles are nucleus, rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus and mitochondria. The neuron has a cell membrane. Everything inside the cell membrane outside of the nucleus in the cell body is called the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a fluid filled space containing all the organelles except nucleus. The cell membrane of a neuron is called the neuronal membrane. It is a lipid bilayer studded with proteins and is approximately 5 nanometers thick. It encloses the cytoplasm. It separates the inside and outside of the neuron. It allows the transport of substances in and out of the neuron. The protein composition of the neuronal membrane depends on where the membrane is located, whether it is the soma or dendrites or axon. The neuronal membrane proteins are involved majorly in transfer of electric signals throughout the brain and the body. The cytosol skeleton gives the shape of the neuron. It is made of microtubules, microfilaments and neurofilaments. The neurons are not static, that is, they do not lack movement. They are usually squirming around in the nervous system. One of the main organelles in a cell is the nucleus. It is centrally located and has a double membrane nuclear envelope that separates it from the cytoplasm. The nucleus has chromosomes which contains DNA that we obtain from our parents. So what differentiates neuron from other cells? That is the work of genes. Genes are specific parts of DNA that produce specific proteins which are used to assemble the cell. DNA contains genes. Genes undergo gene expression. DNA undergoes transcription where the gene is copied into mRNA. These mRNA transcripts carry the genetic message. This mRNA then gets translated into amino acids which join together to form protein. Neurons make use of information in the genes by synthesizing proteins. Protein synthesis takes place in ribosomes. These ribosomes are dense globular structures and involved in the translation of mRNA transcripts into proteins. There are numerous ribosomes present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum of the neuron. In the previous video about neuron doctrine, we saw that the nissle stain stains nissle bodies around the nucleus. These are nothing but a stack of membranous organelles called the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The number of rough endoplasmic reticulum in the neuron are higher compared to other cells. This is because of the need to synthesize many membrane proteins that are involved in neurons information processing and communication. In addition to the ribosomes that are attached to rough endoplasmic reticulum, there are several free ribosomes present in the cytoplasm. When these ribosomes appear to be attached by an mRNA thread, it is called polyribosomes. These make multiple copies of the same protein. So, ribosomes are either free or attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, but they do the same job, which is protein synthesis. So, what is the difference between the two? It has been found that the difference is the destination of synthesized proteins. If the proteins are made for the neuron membranes and has the need to gravitate towards it, then they get synthesized by the ribosomes in the rough ER. All the other proteins needed inside the cytoplasm get synthesized by the free ribosomes. In the cytoplasm, there are another stack of membranes like the rough endoplasmic reticulum but without the presence of ribosomes. They are called the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. They have different functions depending on their location. For example, some are involved in protein folding and forming the protein's 3D structure. Some are involved in the regulation of internal concentrations of substances like calcium. 
There are another sacs of membrane enclosed discs in the cytoplasm called the Golgi apparatus. They are involved in post-translational modification of the proteins. They then prepare these proteins and segregate which protein goes where in the neuron. Then there is the mitochondria. They are approximately 1 micrometer long and are abundant in neurons. A mitochondria is made of an outer membrane, then cristae, which are multiple folds of the inner membrane, and the matrix, which is the inner space between the cristae. The mitochondria is the site of cellular respiration. Pyruvic acid present in the cytosol gets taken inside. Krebs cycle occurs. During this, energy is produced in the form of ATP. This ATP is the energy currency of the cell and fuels most of the reactions that takes place in the neuron. This is why mitochondria is called the powerhouse of the cell. I hope the last few minutes have been useful to you. If so, like and share the video. To know more about neuroscience, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.